So we have, uh, we'll continue on uh, using selection statements if and else. Okay. Now, uh, to go further into using if and else, say if you're supposed to write a VBA program that determines the health of a person based on the criterion below, that if his pulse rate of 56 beats or less indicate excellent health, or if the pulse rate between 57 and 65 is evidence of good health, or if the pulse rate between 66 and 75 is average health, and pulse rate exceeding 75 indicates bad health. Okay, so you can figure out that from this uh, problem that we have to do a if this is less than 56, or if this is between 57 and 65, or if this is 66 and 75, or else if it's more than 75, then we have to do different conditions. Okay, so if and else can help us in doing this. Okay, so uh, I believe that you can enter this code into the code editor yourself. So what I want to explain is, okay, first we declare variable pulse rate uh, as a double. Okay, we ask user for input pulse rate. So if it's less than or equal to 56, then uh, we will output excellent health. If it's more than 56 or less and less than 65, then good health. If it's more than 65 and less than 75, then average health. If it's more than 75, then it, it will be bad health. Okay, so this will um, be this will suffice for the problem that we had we had earlier over here. Okay. Now another way of doing this is doing this. Okay, where this will still give us the same output, but we avoid using. Um, but between, between, between kind. It's just a different logic. So if you trace through, if pulse rate is less than or equal to 56, okay, uh, excellent health. Else, if pulse rate is less than or equal to 65, then good health. Okay, the reason why we can do, do this and that we do not have to check that it's more than 56 anymore is because, if it's because anything that comes into here will be definitely more than 56. Okay, and it if it comes here, it means that it's more than 56 and less than 65. Okay, I hope you understand this. We will go through this same example in the next one. So else if pulse rate is more than equal to 75. We do not have to check that it's more than 65 because it's definitely more than 65. Else it will not be able to come here in the first place. Okay? And uh, if it's more than 75, then that helps. Okay? Now another way of uh, doing all this, okay, when we especially when we have multiple conditions. In this case, where we have a condition for excellent health, condition for good health, condition for average health, condition for bad health, is using the, okay, using the select case statement. Okay, so besides if and else, VBA also support case. So in situation where we want to execute a particular code based on the value of a single variable. Okay, then case is the better choice than if then else. Okay, our single variable then, okay, um, in this ex example is marks. Okay, marks. How much? How many marks you get for English, for mathematics and science? Okay, so if we do, we are familiar with the grade system, right? If it's, uh, for example, if it's more than eighty, then A. More than seventy, B. More than sixty, C. So we can do all this using if it's more than eighty. Uh, then A, if it's more than 70, then B. Okay, so but this will be quite tedious. Alternatively, we can use a select case statement. What we're doing here is select case, okay, marks. Okay, then we have different conditions over here. So case is more than 80, grade A. Case is more than 70, grade B. Case is more than 60, grade C. Case is more than 50, grade D. Case else is grade F. Okay. So uh, it will break up from a select case once a condition is met. Meaning, if it's grade B, then it will exit the whole thing. It will not. It will not continue to evaluate uh, down the different conditions. All right. Okay. And uh, some other things that you can do in select case. Okay. For example, is you can do this as well. Okay. If it's eighty two hundred, grade A. If it's seventy to seventy nine, B. Sixty to sixty nine, C. If it's fifty to fifty five, okay. Um, or 56 to 57 or is more than equals to 50 is great the else is great hat okay so this is uh, with this we come to the end of using uh, selection statements in Excel VB primarily using if else and uh, else if and also select case